Hey everybody, welcome back to my kitchen. Yeah, you guys, we're not outside of the yard today. We're back in the kitchen, back on this dump cake marathon. And today I'm trying the peach dump cake, but it's gonna be a little different. I do think in my research and looking at different recipes for the dump cake, I think the peach is pretty popular or kind of classic, if you will. So I'm gonna try this one today. Um, this one was also inspired by Kelly Barlow over at Kelly Barlow Creations. I will link her video in the description box below. That way you can kind of check out um, what she's done, but I was very interested in that she uses, we're gonna do like a crumble topping, and she used instant oatmeal in her crumble topping. So, of course, I would like to try this, kind of put my little spin on it, but y'all already know I'm gonna have to add some more sugar. It's, it's a dessert and I like it sweet. These pie fillings, to me, they're just not sweet enough, so we're gonna add a little bit more. Oh, and also I'm gonna have to add a little bit of my uh, pure vanilla extract as well. So we're gonna be using two cans of this peach fruit filling or topping and she used Duncan Hines. I was trying to find some Duncan Hines pie filling. I had no idea that Duncan Hines made pie filling but I was unsuccessful in finding it. Had I found some that's what I would have used but in any event we're going to use the peach. Two cans of the peaches. The pie filling um, I'm using a French vanilla cake mix by Duncan Hines. I have my two packs of cinnamon. I'm going to use the cinnamon and spice oatmeal. Instant oatmeal. I have my light brown sugar here that I'll be using. I have my pure vanilla extract that we're going to add to it. I have my Penzi's cinnamon because I'm going to add a little bit more probably to my peaches. I'll taste that pie filling, you guys. And I have my sugar that's on deck too because i know this we're gonna need some more sugar okay we're just gonna need some more i like it sweet you don't like it sweet then you don't have to add this sugar because it's gonna be the regular granulated sugar and some brown sugar if you don't want all that sugar then you don't have to add it okay whatever you like but honey we like it sweet over here okay of course, I thoroughly wash my hands. Don't be in the kitchen with nasty hands because that's just nasty. I'm not even going to look at you while I'm saying that because I know you embarrassed because I know you know. I know you. Now you know. I know. You don't be washing your nasty hands. So I'm not going to look at you. But do better, okay? Wash your nasty hands when you're in the kitchen. oven is preheated to 350 degrees so let's get this cake oh y'all look my butter I'm also going to be using probably at least two sticks of butter but when I did the dumb cake the first time y'all let my butter sitting out and it was it was mushy y'all remember that my first what was the apple dump cake it was mushy so my butter I've already sliced it up it's in the freezer so I'm getting ready to get it out in just a few minutes once I get this layered so we're gonna need at least one and a half two sticks of butter or more it just depends on how you layer your stuff okay how much butter you want to use if you don't want to use all this butter you don't have to do that either it's whatever you like the point of the butter is making sure that you get it layered and get the butter close enough so you won't have no any dry pockets you don't want to look dry cake mix and stuff okay butter needs to be on all of the cake mix okay all right so let's get this layered up so we can get ready to get it in the oven and we're going to start with our two cans of peaches. I've already generously added butter to my casserole dish. I have also thoroughly washed off these cans. Thorough, I mean with hot soap and water. Y'all wash off these cans. They are absolutely nasty as well. Okay? They've been riding around on these tractor trailer trucks. They've been sitting in these grocery stores. And workers have been handling them and while they've been sitting out there waiting to go on the shelves the little rodents and, and insects and bugs been crawling all across the top of them and licking all on the cans and stuff y'all watch these cans out 
wash them real good, okay? Make sure I get all of my peaches and all of my filling. Okay. And I'm, I'm going to go on and taste this filling. I already know. It's not going to be sweet enough, but I'm just going to, I'm just going to give it the benefit of doubt. Mm-hmm. Glad I have my uh, sugar on deck. We're gonna add a little bit of this pure vanilla extract. Mmm, a little bit. Yeah, that's a little bit. <laughs> Let's see. Then we're gonna add a little bit of this. Well, no. Let me mix this first, and then let me just sprinkle some sugar on it. Okay. We're just gonna sprinkle a little more sugar. feeling kind of even so you make sure you have some peaches in every bite okay get that little spot right there with the peaches okay now we're going to sprinkle on a little bit of sugar mm-hmm I say totally not necessary you don't have to do that we're gonna add a little bit more cinnamon 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 don't forget the cinnamon and some of you may also like to add to add nutmeg I don't usually have nutmeg in my apple mm, my peach cobbler so we're just gonna stick with the cinnamon but you can of course add Whatever spices that you like. Now we're going on top of this with the oat, not the oatmeal, the um, what's this stuff called, y'all? The cake mix. Yeah. Cake mix. Seems like a lot of cake mix. Just trying to kind of get that leveled out. Make sure all your peaches are covered up, okay? meal on the top. Y'all, this is really what I am so curious about. So curious. I hope I don't regret this part, but I'm going to show that you know. I don't think I will, though. Okay, 
I think I'm have that pretty even. Now we're gonna make sure everything is covered with brown sugar. stingy with the brown sugar either. I'm going to let that do. I do have another pack of bag of brown sugar, but I don't think I'm going to need it. I think this will suffice. I'm sure many of you think so as well. Let me find my you bag no more. No more sugar on that. Okay, now we're ready to go in the oven. Before we go in the oven, I'm going to actually put some foil over it so it won't get so brown. And we are going in 350 degrees. And probably for about 45 minutes, I'm going to set the timer. For about 40 minutes and then I'll check it but I'll let you know exactly how long it baked once I take it out. Ah. Oh gosh that looks amazing. So today we baked for like an hour. So this one baked a little bit longer than the other ones and I'm not going to add anything to the top of it. Ugh. Amazing. And I only left the foil on for maybe like the first 20 minutes and then I took it off. I didn't want it to brown too fast. Oh. It looks so good. Number one is not here. 
So y'all get me. He Hi. doesn't like peach anyway, so he wasn't even gonna try to be y'all look. I just want you to look. You licking your lips. Mmm. Oh, this too. Great day. Ooh. Two. Yes. Thank you. Oh my goodness. And two that I tell you what's in it. Like there's oatmeal on top. I feel like what? There's oatmeal on top. Doctor, don't drop. Mm. Oh Lord, have mercy. And you are exactly right. It does look oatmeal on top. Drop. It See? makes it. Uh. I know my stuff, y'all. Ah. You want some? I'm drop. Oh, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah. Here, baby. Want to try it? Y'all. Oh, my goodness. Mm. It has, what is it, cinnamon spice, oatmeal on top. This is still a little warm. Wait a minute. I want you guys to hear any good. Oh, oh y'all, that's so good. I just missed some ice cream. It's something now. Oh, my goodness. Mm. Uh... One thing about making sure that the butter is all over it, it gives it that crispy topping. So you hear that? Mm. So it, it, that crispy, crunchy topping. So it's not soggy, okay? And there aren't any. Um, you see, there were no spots where the cake mix was. Let me tell y'all something. This thing right here is good. To I like the apple and the peach, but what I really like, could you tell that's oatmeal? It the oatmeal kind of gives it maybe a slight chewiness, just mm -hmm. a slight. And that's what you want. Oh my goodness. I love it with the oatmeal topping. Oh, you! I was gonna eat some more of that. Why you ain't tell me something? <laughs> I thought we were sharing. <gasps> oh my goodness! I like what you say, y'all? Let me. Job. This this right here is the truth. Ooh, mm -hmm. we two. Okay, uh, well, you can stay there, come my way, and I'll make sure I put the words over there so it won't be over your head. You scraping the bowl. Okay. Bless you. Oh, y'all. Bless you. Oh, my goodness. Really? <laughs> you memorized it. Miss. Can we turn it off for right now? Turn it off, baby. <laughs> you gonna you gonna serenade not TV the families. <laughs> y'all, this is delicious. Oh my goodness. Mm. Mm. I got the big old spoon. Yeah, look. Look, y'all. Look at that. Oh my. Dude, did you want to get the, the ice cream out? Sure. I don't even want to stop to get the ice cream out. It's good. Oh my goodness, this is so good. I would totally do this on the apple one. The Dutch apple. Oh, yes. oh yeah. I would do it on the strawberry one too. This is good. It didn't even need the drizzle on the top. I'm here to tell you what God love, and that's the truth. This this thing, this is good. Wait, let's hit them with the ice cream oh. and thing combo. Hold on. What? I gotta hit it with a combo. Too, you, you was doing too much. I'm trying to tell the people about now. You can, you can do it. You can do it once everybody go home. What? The people want to know? They want to know what? You want to oh. taste it? Y'all, here it goes. Here it goes. Y'all know his shoulders get going. It's good. Here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Ma, don't do like you do, Dad. Ma, wait a minute. 
Ma, Back I got it. the ice cream. I put in the work. Back it up. <laughs> Back it up, little girl. I put in the work. I got to push that the way. Not the little rump, rump on me. The rump is on <laughs> She done put the rump on me, y'all. <laughs> Thank you. Ooh. Yes, Lord. Jackson looking like, what is wrong with both of y'all? Mm -hmm. Anywho, listen. That is amazing. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I love it. Okay. So, if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so. Turn on that notification bell. Yeah, Let's hit the nosy. I'm supposed to say hit the nosy. Please say your daddy part. I'm sorry. Hit the nosy. No. For those of you uh, that are missing my dude number one, he's not here right now, a.k.a. my husband. He usually says his little part. So, y'all, he's, he's not here yet. But, anywho, like I said, he doesn't eat peach, but... If he decides to try it and likes it, I'm going to be sure to let y'all know. Okay, so if you've not subscribed, please consider doing so, turning on that notification bell. Ooh, I do like this when you do so it. So much. This is a little bitty baby dude. You little bitty baby dude? Little bitty baby dude. Thank you so much for watching. We already look forward to you joining us again next time. Bye! Bye! Bye.